about giving. You can give without loving, but you cannot love without giving. Because love gives. When you love, there's nothing that is too much to give. And that's why when relationships and marriages have been reduced to the things we do, rather than who or what we mean to each other, you cannot fully maximize that relationship. If the quality of a relationship, of a marriage, is predicated upon what I do for you, what you do for me, what I get from you, or what you get from me, wow. It is going to be very difficult for you to love others until you first of all grasp the depth of God's love for you. Because you cannot give what you don't have. When I hear Christians, alright, believers, victims, it's like, I hate that person. The Christ in you does not permit me to forgive us. The nature, the divine nature of God in you, of which you are in particular, does not permit me to forgive It's nobody a believer cannot love. If everything that you start, if the, that marriage or relationship, is based on money. Money alone is not enough to sustain that marriage of relationship. Relationships and marriages that stem purely on material gain. When the storms and challenges of life come, they do not always stand the test of time. So we find people who, when they reduce relationship and marriage down to money, you find a case where a woman is living in a mansion, yet in misery. When it comes to love, when it comes to marriage, when it comes to relationship, it's got to be mutual. Each person must be striving to give to each other, to support each other, to care for each other. One of the most important requirements for a successful marriage and family is love. Love is a commitment. It's a commitment where you don't give up on each other. It is commitment that binds husband and wife. It's beyond feelings. It's beyond emotions. It's beyond circumstances. I always tell single folks, do not marry a question mark. You must marry somebody that you know and somebody that knows you. Many marriages are going through hell today because the parties did not take time to understudy each other. Marry someone that loves you. It's during the process of courtship that you are able to determine whether the person loves you for you and whether you love the person that much. Your choice, okay, for marriage partner is yours. Because you don't marry to make people happy. You don't marry to create an impression you don't marry to seek approval from people. You don't even marry out of pity. Who you marry is your choice.